bless the Lord, O oh my soul. A pleasant good afternoon to all of you again. Welcome again to another midday broadcast coming to you from the Outreach Ministries of Faith Pentecostal Gospel Temple. The church where everybody matters and Jesus Christ is Lord. I'm happy to be here with you another Wednesday. And I would like to share with you just a little thought to take you to the rest of your day. And uh, today, I take the opportunity to look at a topic that I'll describe as be an example. Be an example. And can I for the time turn your attention to the book of St. Matthew chapter 5. And I'll be reading from verse 13, a very well-known scripture. It says, Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost his savour, wherewith shall it be salted? It is henceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Verse 16 says, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Praise God. Praise God. Be an example. Be an example. That is our thought today. Now, the Lord knows we need good examples. We need good examples these days. But it appears that people with good examples are in short supply. They are becoming harder and harder to find. You know, in our society, there are some persons who will ex who we expect to be examples. Who we expect to be people that we can follow, who the rest of us look up to. People that, who, who we should be emulating. People who should be patterning. People who should have the standards of goodness and character that all of us should work towards. And when I speak, think of people like these, I'm thinking of persons like doctors, engineers, lawyers, teachers, policemen and policewomen, bankers, even politicians, and yes, religious leaders. Religious leaders. And you know, in our society, we come up with various titles to give an indication who these persons are that we should try to emulate. And so we come up with terms to describe certain people like honorable or excellency, right honorable, his excellency, your majesty. Words like these will give us an idea that, you know, these person uh, possess the characteristics that we should try to be like. These people should be worthy examples. These are people that we should try to be like. But you know, as we know, a title does not a person make. Pinning a title on somebody is not going to automatically change that person. You might pin a title on somebody because that is what you want them to be like, but there is nothing automatic about it. Do as I say, but not as I do, does not work. It does not work. Now, Jesus, who is our ultimate example, ministered the word, but he did not only impart the word. He demonstrated his message. Yes, so he lived what he preached. He became what he preached. 
He did not just utter words, but his life was a living example of what he was about. When we do not practice what we preach, we lose our effectiveness. And people looking around make us out to be fake, make us out to be hypocritical. Being a child of God does not end, my friend, Sunday afternoon after you come out of a Holy Ghost service. Being a child of God is an, it's a, it's a lifestyle. It does not change. It is a, a, a life of integrity. In other words, how you are viewed when we are not seeing you is the same person you are when we can actually see you. So it does not end Sunday afternoon sayings. You are supposed to be the same person at church as you are at work, at school, in the public domain, even on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, and Twitter. I know you have different profiles of yourself. You are a different person, many of you, on social media than you are in church or in a community. But you may fool some people, but you are not going to fool God. Let us be an example in all aspects of our life. Now Jesus backed up his message of love and compassion by demonstration in his life. He demonstrated this both to the rich and to the poor alike. However, he made his feelings clear among the hypocritical zealots, religious zealots of the day. The, the Pharisees and the Sadducees. And uh, those from the Sanhedrin Council who were leading the people but were doing things that they were doing things that they were teaching people not to do. They weren't good, good examples. In 1 Peter 2 verse 21 we have, For even here unto were he called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that he should follow his steps. Let us be examples to the world in word and deed. Because remember, what did, what, did, what did the word of God say? God so loved the world. So we have, a, we have a responsibility to the world. Let us be examples in our homes. Husbands, love your wives. Why respect your husband? Children, be obedient. And let me tell you something. Don't think that because you are saved and your spouse is unsaved mean that you're going to be disrespectful. You should be showing example for the institution. Praise God. Don't, it doesn't mean that because you, your, your husband is unsaved wife mean that you're not going to live up to your responsibilities as a wife. Your responsibilities as a wife is there whether your husband is saved or unsaved. You're going to be an example. Husband, love your wife. Saved or unsaved, love your wife and rule your house well because example is important to those looking on and to your children. Salt is used to season and to preserve food. Similarly, the child of God with the Holy Ghost is the season and preservative of this world. While we are here, we should make our world a better place to live. Make our world a better place to live by our example. The Bible tells us that if we are a light, we should not be hid. We should be placed on a candlestick. We should be placed at a point where everyone should see us. Let us shine the light. Let us 
be the salt of this earth and let us be the examples to change our world. People of God, be an example. Amen. I'd just like, like to invite you to just bow your heads with me right now as we go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you another time for this day. Thank you, Lord, another time that I can come before you and minister to your people in the way, Lord God, that you have allowed me to. Lord Jesus, these are times when we need good examples. And Lord Jesus, if we are saved, you have placed it in us to be that, that salt, that seasoning of this world that will change the direction that many of us are going. I pray, Lord God, that we will be effective, that we will not just be salt without savor, but, oh God, that there will be taste, hallelujah, there will be effectiveness in our ministry. And, Lord God, that we will be true examples. Help us, Lord, that our lifestyle will change those around us, change our, our friends at the workplace, at school, change, Lord God, the direction that our our, our workplace is going let our boss lord jesus recognize that we have met you lord and change our our superiors and lord god not just change our superiors but change even our very politicians and leaders in our society that they may know that righteousness will, ex will exalt a nation thank you lord thank you for being that perfect example for us and i ask you right now in jesus name that likewise we will be the example that you want us to be for the people that look onto us every day. Father, have that way as we give you thanks this afternoon. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. My friends, I'm glad that you were able to be with us this afternoon. I pray that something that was said today will leave you blessed, that will cause your day to be better than it was turning out to be. Amen. Please be with us next week again as we come right here, same place, same time, where we will present another time to you our midday meditation and prayer. God bless you. See you then and be blessed in Jesus' name. I love to sing songs about Jesus. If it wasn't for Jesus, I'd be lost and you would too. This next song... I'd like to share with you and I want you to learn this song and sing it at home and just tell the devil I know what prayer can do 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 I know what prayer can do